Aww, animals. That's scary. CBS News reports a jaguar from the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans escaped and ended up killing six animals. Zoo officials said the three-year-old male jaguar escaped its habitat because its roof may have been compromised and opened up an escape route. The incident took place at around 7.20 a.m. before the zoo was open. After escaping, the jaguar, named Valerio, reportedly attacked four alpacas, a fox and an emu. Unfortunately, they didn't survive. Valerio also attacked two foxes and an alpaca, but they are expected to recover. Fox News reports team members from the zoo sedated the jaguar within a few minutes with tranquilizers. According to a press release from the Audubon Zoo, they plan to conduct a thorough investigation of how this happened. Aren't animals the best? You got a friend in me. A baby beaver rescued by a Canadian conservation center in 2016, who later gained internet fame as the lonely beaver, has found a friend and is lonely no more. The five-week-old baby beaver was found alone on a golf course in northwest Calgary with wounds on her tail. The beaver kit was admitted to the Alberta Institute for Wildlife Conservation so it could recover. And that's where she's been since. Aw, isn't she adorable? Noticing the female rodent was all alone, netizens quickly nicknamed her the Lonely Beaver. But it seems things are about to change for the better. Earlier this year, a two-year-old male beaver was admitted to the conservation center after he was found in a storm drain with a bite wound on his lower back. Beavers live better when they have a companion, so the conservation center decided to introduce the two to each other. According to their handlers, the two are now best friends. And since they haven't reached breeding age, their relationship is purely platonic, uh, for now. These two adorable beavers will be released together in June 2018. Since caring for wildlife is generally expensive, the Conservation Center has set up a GoFundMe page for the pair's medical costs, which are expected to amount to $23,000. Lioness Sprouts Majestic Mane Vets at the Oklahoma Zoo were downright baffled after one of their female charges began to grow a very distinctly male feature. After spending 18 normal years as a fierce female, Bridget the African Lioness suddenly began sprouting a manly mane that by November had already resembled Santa's beard. Curiously, the luscious locks didn't seem to be contagious and hadn't come with any behavioral changes. Maned lionesses aren't unheard of, but usually the extra testosterone feeding the mane of glory also gives them increased aggression and male mating behaviors. In one case, a lioness named Emma's full mane growth was attributed to testosterone-producing ovaries, which then taken out caused the mane to disappear. Bridget's zoo has taken a blood sample to figure out if it's a testosterone issue, though it's also possible she has a benign tumor on the adrenal or pituitary gland. In any case, her handlers aren't too worried, since the extra hair doesn't seem to be affecting their big girl's health. Is this humane? An Oregon court ruled that a Southern Oregon couple must silence their incessantly barking dogs by surgically removing their vocal cords. The couple was sued by neighbor Deborah and Dale Crean in 2012 over the noises several of their Tibetan Mastiff dogs were making by barking. The Creens were compensated $238,000 for putting up with the noise, and the judge also ordered that the owners debark their Mastiffs. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, devocalization or debarking requires surgically cutting an animal's vocal cords, which decreases the volume, pitch, and intensity of the animal's bark. The technique is considered a last resort by the Medical Association and is strongly opposed by various animal rights groups in the U.S. The owners told Oregon Live that the dogs were raised to protect their sheep from predators. However, the court ruled that their Tibetan Mastiffs weren't ideally suited to work with livestock and ordered them to debark the dogs or replace them with pooches that were more suitable for the task. The Oregon chapter of the Humane Society of the United States said that there are other ways to discourage a dog from barking, such as with citronella spray and shock collars or by simply building a visual barrier between the dogs and the neighbor's property. It's unknown whether the couple plans to appeal the decision to the Oregon Supreme Court. Raccoon Family Shows Off Its Incredible Teamwork Skills In the animal kingdom, it's all about teamwork. Video footage uploaded to LiveLeak shows one raccoon family working together to scale a wall. 
The footage starts out with a mother raccoon trying to push up one of her babies, while another baby is behind her, trying to lend a helping paw. The mother grabs the little guy but loses her grip on the little feller, causing him to drop back down. The baby starts to climb up the wall by itself, and that's when the mother grabs it by the back of the neck and starts to pull the little one up. With the mother holding on to the wall with her two back paws, she slowly backs up and finally helps the baby get over the hump. Mission accomplished. King Cobras found in chip cans smuggled from Hong Kong. You've heard of a can of worms. How about a can of snakes? A man in Los Angeles is facing charges of illegally importing merchandise, the merchandise being a package full of live reptiles. In March of 2017, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers intercepted a parcel that raised some red flags. Shipped from Hong Kong, inside the package were a few cans of potato chips, or so it appeared. When the lids were popped, the snake sprang out. Three venomous king cobras, each roughly two feet in length, needed to be contained. Three albino Chinese softshell turtles were also found. The shipment was addressed to 34-year-old Rodrigo Franco, who consequently had his home searched by federal agents this week. In a child's bedroom, they found tanks with alligator snapping turtles, a common snapping turtle, five diamondback terrapins, and a baby Moralette's crocodile. According to CBS News, all the animals recovered are protected species under U.S. law. This incident could land Franco a prison term of up to 20 years. Find a new hobby, bro! Delta cracks down on fake emotional service pets. Delta is tightening regulations for passengers who travel with emotional service pets. If an airline as crappy as Delta is doing something, it must be a problem. Delta says it's seen a big uptick in incidents involving poorly trained animals since 2016. More and more, the airline is getting complaints of animals taking a leak, dropping deuces, and even biting other passengers. Starting on March 1st, passengers traveling with service pets need to show Delta proof of health or vaccinations for the animal 48 hours before flying. People traveling with emotional or psychological support animals will need a signed note from a doctor confirming that the animal won't go berserk. In the past, Delta said passengers have tried to use turkeys, possums, snakes, and even spiders as support pets. From now on, if you're looking to bring hedgehogs, ferrets, insects, rodents, snakes, spiders, possums, amphibians, non-household fowl, or animals with horns, tusks, or who's on a flight, you're gonna have to find someone other than Delta. Well, maybe it's not that bad of news.